time has come. Praise the sun. <laughs> Dark Souls? <laughs> yes. Pra the time has come. We've been talking about doing it for a long time, ever since the channel started. And we haven't. Because it's kind of part of the name of the channel. Yeah, Vaped Out Gaming. And we haven't done it, and it's because we've been... One, we're always busy. Yep. You have two jobs. Yes, I sir. have a full-time job that I do overtime on. Mm -hmm. And any free time that we get, we use it to record gameplay footage. But we have an excess of gameplay footage right now that I've yep. already got edited and ready to go. So today's first recording session, we're going to do a vape review, e-juice review, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yep. And today's juice that I decide we're going to do is one of my new favorites, is the Raging Donut. Show it to the camera for the nice people there. I'll probably do this, and then I'll put a sweet, nice little picture of it up over the camera. Uh that's how uh, I roll. Excuse also, me. Also, we need to get a new camera. Yeah. Um, when I say we, I mean, I'll do it. I'll buy it. Yep. But anyway, this stuff... <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real here. Let's be real here. The CEO uh, has to pay for everything. Yes. Because, but, you know. That's how it should be, goddamn. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, this stuff, you're not a fan of donut-flavored juices, but I... Not, not particularly. I don't get much donut out of this. What I get is just delicious stuff. Sorry, did you and, say donut? Um, what? What do you say? Donut? Donut. 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 Okay, um, do you say peanut? Peanut? See? What? Okay. You, that nut part is the important part. Yeah, but there's, like, a peanut is actually a nut. nut. <laughs> a peanut's donut. actually a nut, but a donut doesn't have a nut in it, so you don't have to pronounce the nut. What if it has peanuts on it? No, because then, so it, but that's say, not what's inside you it. say peanut donut. Yeah, there you go. I peanut fucking, donut. I hate you. All right, anyway, so <laughs> this stuff, and I, and, uh, I figure I should talk about my shitty setup. Now, this is a Sigeli Fuchai 200 with a clone RDA. Uh, it's a phenotype clone, actually. You're all about them phenotypes. Uh, this thing has some great airflow. I fucking yeah. love it. And Wide open, baby. With this, It is wide open. And with this juice, oh my god. Wow, 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 just look at that. Those glorious clouds, yeah. my god. Like the Side note, um, I am feeling kind of shitty, so I'm not going to be vaping today, yeah. but in future episodes, yes. Evan doesn't actually like this flavor to begin with anyway. Also, yes. So, yeah, he's not a big fan of it. So, I said that this first episode, since, fuck it, it's my idea, I decided we're going to do this stuff because this is one of my favorite juices out right now. Next to Ghostberry, this is probably my second all-day vape. Yeah. Um, which I'm almost out of Ghostberry, so I'm saving this. Like, Ghostberry Aww. is like a fine wine to me. Like, when you get down to having a little bit of Ghostberry... That's when it's the best. Exactly, and that's when you have to save it. You have to wait until it's like, oh, I'm gonna get a new bottle. Oh, let me just vape this. Yeah. Oh. But this stuff... <laughs> just big old titties. And just the best junk. part is, like, it's... They say it's max VG. It's 80-20... VGPG, um, and this is 1.5 milligram actually nicotine because mm. they're nice enough to sell it in that. I go back and forth between three and 1.5. Mm -hmm. um, Ghostberry, I always get in three because that's all you can get it in really three, six, and nine or yeah. 12 or whatever. I don't know who's vaping 12 Ghostberry. Uh, believe it or not, uh, one of the dudes I work with, he said a friend of his, I don't even know how you can get it, but he said a friend of his vapes uh, 30 milligram juice. I, in an RDA? I don't know. He didn't. He said he don't. You know, he doesn't really fuck with a guy like that. We need to get him on the show. Yeah, because this guy is an anomaly. He, I don't, <laughs> he's gonna. His heart's gonna explode one day. I would. I and hopefully we can get that on film. Yeah, that would be great. Um, <laughs> and hopefully by then we'll have the better camera. Yeah. Um, so you can get heart exploding yeah, in see, HD. The, Palpitations. Well, this is HD. It it's just its, chest. it's just like a four-year-old webcam. Yeah. It looks good when it's tiny, but not when it's the full fucking video. As you yeah. can see, I have the contrast blasted and shit like that because mm. our lighting is not set up for live action until we move into the new no, place with our got, new studio. You got two bulbs for now. You always point that out. Yeah. Um, they're not the most nice. powerful of light bulbs, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, back to this fucking juice. This stuff, I get. It's supposed to be a donut, and Evan says he tastes the donut, but I really don't. All I taste is, like, strawberry and fruity pebbles, and yeah. it's it's so good. Like, See, I was never too, too huge on strawberry juices with the exception of uh, Delaware Vapor's Honeyberry. That's a good one. 
Delaware Vapors Honey Berry. It's my problem with Delaware Vapors juices is I find they're too harsh for me, even they're in their max VG because I yeah. think their max VG is seventy thirty. Yeah. So I usually try to get those in zero nick, and just vape those for flavor. But like my yep. all day vapes are always have nicotine in them because I'm a addicted scumbag. Yeah. Um, this stuff is I believe I picked this up on breezy.com. I'll put the link in the description below. And I think it was on sale. I think the bottle itself, which is a 60 mil bottle, which I think they need to stop selling 30 mils, really. Like, 60 yeah. mils is the new hotness or the new flavor, well, the new dab. I think, I think like, a lot of people don't want to make that kind of um, commitment to something they haven't tried before. So a smaller size works out. Like, when Del Vape started out, they had 10 mil bottles. That and is those, true. They those did. Those were like seven bucks or something like that. Which isn't bad, but obviously you save more when you get a bigger bottle if you, you're getting, you know, wholesale and all that. Bottle. You do now, but the problem is it's just that there's so many juice companies out there now. And to be honest, some of the some of these juice companies I'm not gonna name any names. Some of these juice companies, they are like it's like they're trying to copy one hit wonder. Yep. Without providing the flavor profile that One Hit Wonder does. Because mm -hmm. One Hit Wonder juices, they are, for what you get, it's cheap. Like, 50 bucks if you order it right from them. 50 $55, I think. You get a 180 milliliter bottle of juice. And then they give you two extra 15 milliliter bottles of whatever they sell as well. So mm -hmm. if you want to try some of their stuff, if you order it directly from them, they give you the big bottle of what you order and then you can choose from any of their other bottles that, or juices that they have and they'll send you two 15 milliliter uh, unicorn bottles for free. Yeah. So you're getting 100 or 210 milliliter, uh, milliliters of juice for like 50, 55 bucks. That's not bad at all. And their juice tastes good. Um, you have to let it steep for a little while for some of their flavor profiles but yeah. like their juice is good but then you've got other juice companies where they sell like you know, big giant bottles for like 10, 15 bucks. And then you're like, well, this tastes like ass. And it's, you don't get that. But then like, you got juice companies like these guys don't sell 30 mil bottles mm -hmm. anymore. Um, a lot of the juice companies are trying to come out with the bigger bottles because they figure these are the flavors that people like. This is what they like. So let's just sell them in bigger bottles, which I understand. But then you're seeing that these bottles are like, this was 15 bucks on sale normally it's like 20 bucks but yeah. like 20 bucks gets you 60 mils normally shit dude whereas I like pay, i mean everyone pretty much if, if you like cereal flavors chances are you've tried cereal killer and which is impossible to find now it, apparently i um, can't find it i used to happily pay 24 dollars for a 30 mil bottle at that. vape escape because our it's local shop. <laughs> one of our local shops. We yep. have a couple. We don't really um, go to Vape Escape. We much need anymore. to take a trip to Wesley's sometime. Oh, isn't that the uh, juice the, bar? The, the, the yeah, vape the bar vape thing? Place in uh, Fair Hill. Yeah, they've hit me up on Twitter a couple of times. So really? they, yeah, so I've been talking to them. And yeah. so we'll see what goes on. So maybe we'll shoot some video there. See what's That'll up. Cool. Put that up on the channel. Um, but What, on our phones or some shit? Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, hey man, they I shoot mean, in 60 frames. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They make phone cameras so good, no one wants to buy regular cameras anymore. You can buy, this is off topic, but just because I'm a filmmaker, you can buy tripods that are designed for iPhones and, like, the major, like, Android phones. Yep. They sit them in there, and they're not just the, your, your phone sits there and it stares at stuff. They're the ones that have, like, the gyroscopes and stuff in them to make sure that they always stay level and yep. stay pointed at where you're supposed to be pointing. That's cool. And, like, you see them a lot at, like, well, you don't because you don't go, but, like, I see them all the time at car meets and stuff. Yeah. People just getting those nice angle shots, looking at all the, looking at all the shitty-ass Civics. Oh, there's, like little hand crane yeah things. and they're and that's awesome and i'm like that's cool and then it, you think about it you're like hmm i could spend six hundred dollars on a good dslr yep. to film with or i could just whip out my fucking phone and shoot 1080p 60 frames a second video and then automatically upload it you know exactly you yeah and just pull it off and shit like that if you have an android phone it's a lot easier because you just record it to a fucking external Yep. SD card is like 13 terabytes and the size of a fingernail. But true. Back what a to a time to be alive. It is a time to be alive. Technology, but I'm stuck with a shit ass iPhone. Well, that I do was love, your choice. I do love my iPhone. I'm sorry, though. is that is that glitter? You're damn right it's glitter. Tori just had that same phone case. This thing, but for you know an S7. You know this thing is uh, 
it's a good case. Yeah. Doesn't save my phone actually. I cracked she, my screen uh, a couple of times. <laughs> she dropped her phone and shattered it. I haven't shattered it. There's well, like a crack that goes along the yeah, top, she and I'm got like, a crack hey. on the bottom. But uh, I got one of her Christmas gifts was imported, and uh, she got it before <laughs> she went into the hospital. She's out now, by the way. Oh, so yay! Praise be to that. Uh, but it's a it's a black foam or rubber. Uh, Sailor Moon phone case. And she's all oh, about Sailor that Moon shit. all all day. So now the, mask. the front and the back match. So <laughs> I have yeah. a my. I don't collect pops like you guys do, but I do buy the random ones that I think will make me laugh when I look at them. So at my desk, I have a uh, Rick from Rick and Morty, and I have Tuxedo Mask. Mm-hmm. And like every time somebody asks me who's that, like when they point at Tuxedo Mask, I'm like Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> they're like, what? It's completely lost on them. Yeah, because they don't they don't get Tuxedo Mask. But fuck it. I mean. Back to the juice. Yes, the juice. I mean, this... I do want to say this. I should have said it at the beginning of the video, but I'll say it now. This segment is called Coil Talk, so it's going to be a mixture of vape reviews and us talking about vape-related stuff. So it's not always going to be just about the e-juice. We will specifically talk about one type of juice flavor in each episode, but we will also talk about other vape stuff as yep. well. And, and whatever the fuck we want to. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Because we don't have to just focus on juice. No one wants to... No. Hear about juice for 10, 15 minutes, is, you know. And yet, session. some people make those videos. Yep. Not going to deny it. Some of them are good. I like watching some of those vapor Even views. though everyone sh- talks shit on Rip Trippers, I mean, he helped me out a lot when it came to setting up certain tanks and building certain coils and stuff like that. I think the most, the biggest reason that people talk shit on Rip Trippers is it seemed like he was a sellout at one point. I mean, but it's like. You got to have a hustle. Yeah. I mean, as a, like, there's no, I don't want to leave any, like, deniability here. Like, we make videos because it makes us money. It doesn't make us a lot of money. Like, being a YouTuber, you don't make all that much money. Yeah, there are YouTubers like PewDiePie, The Game Grumps, Rooster Teeth Productions, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of their... They do make a living off of those videos, but they also... They may have millions of views per video, but us smaller YouTubers... We do make a little bit of money, but most of the time, that money is just to cover the cost of making the videos. We can't. We don't actually live on this. I have a full time yeah. job. He has two part time jobs. We we don't make all the money that we make from our videos goes directly to buy stuff to make more videos and yeah. stuff like that. But those other tri- like Rip Trivers, his whole thing was he stopped working. He made enough money to be to live off of his videos, and he also does other stuff like he makes like. Uh, I think he made an e-juice line, and then I think, like, his his big start, like, he designed, like, a tank or something, mm. and that that's what everybody knew him from, or I think he designed, like, an RDA, and, um, but you're gonna see that, like, we, we're about to have a couple of links for, you know, you guys to check out, like, Loot Crate and stuff like that, so, yes, it's, I don't really see it as selling out, but, like, I don't, for what he did, because wasn't his whole big thing was, um, he, he tried to promote a certain, like, vitamin supplement or something that you were supposed to use because it, of the side effects of vaping or something, supposedly. Oh, something to hydrate you or something like that? I think so. And, like, he took the video down almost immediately, but I think that was the big thing. But I don't, it doesn't really matter. The guy makes good videos. They're great quality. Yeah. Like, and you're right. He does help you out. When you start out vaping and stuff like that, and you, you go to all these channels, if you type in, like, how to build a coil, yeah. you're going to have, like, hundreds of fucking videos. And to be honest, a lot of them now, because of YouTube's new algorithm, where it shows the most viewed videos instead of the most relevant now, mm. you're going to see, like, how to build an alien coil. And if you're first starting out, it's like, what the fuck is an alien coil? I just want to be able to wrap shit around a screwdriver. Yeah, it, the second that you involve a power drill is when you lose me. I'm just yeah. like, nah. <laughs> I build the same coil every time and it, it works for me. I got into building fancy coils and then I was just like, fuck it, there's too much work. And now you can just buy the rolls of the yep. pre-made fancy coils. Yeah, you so. can have just, you know, clapped and Yeah, clapped and wire. Like you can that. even get alien wire. You can get, like, hex wire and stuff like that now. Can I just can I just roll with a guitar string? Is that a thing? <laughs> Could you? It's nickel. Usually. Yeah, most of the time it's nickel, so it'll be temperature control. Hmm. That'll be a new episode maybe of Coil that'll, Talk. Maybe that'll be an episode. That'll sometime. be an episode of Coil Talk. It'll be so fucking dumb and we'll die. Anyways. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Who knows? But, yes. So, but, where are we at now with time? 
Time? I don't even fucking know, because I don't keep track of that stuff. But you know what? This episode, I think it's gone well. It's a good first in- it's introductory It's good first episode. dive in. Raging Donut. Again, I'll put up a picture of it, because it's hard to see. But this stuff is delicious. And if you're a fan of, I guess, like, dessert-flavored vapes is the best way you could say it. Or if you're a fan of, f- not fruity vapes, but you do get a little bit of strawberry in there. I don't taste the donut. He does, apparently. I get a pastry flavor, but I don't really get a donut flavor. But this stuff is good, and for the price, you can't beat it, especially if you find it on sale. Like, Breezy.com, again, I'll put a link down there. Um, and full disclosure, they're not sponsoring the video or anything like that. They don't even know who the fuck I yeah, am. Yeah, he's just doing this. And just doing it to record. be nice, to show you guys that you can get this. And definitely check out Food Fighter E-Juice, because that's who makes this stuff. It's Food Fighter Juice on Instagram, and I believe they have a Twitter as well. Mm. Um, I don't know if they sell directly unless you're a wholesaler, but... Check that juice out if you're a fan. If you have a vape shop locally that sells it, try it out. And, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll make more of these videos. If you like the video, put a like on the video. If you like to see more, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And then hit that little bell so that way you can be notified when we have new videos that come out. And then on top of everything, put a comment below of what your favorite juice is to date. And if you have any specific vape-related stuff you want us to talk about on the next episode of Coil Talk. Yeah, we'll take requests. That'll be interesting. Yeah, it'd be great. And uh, see you guys next time. Later.